What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets with Rob. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. Before I get started talking about Jake Arrieta to the Mets, don't forget, guys, if you enjoy this video, press on that like button. If you enjoy all my content, all my videos, want to see more, want to get those notifications that I post new videos, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys, so Jake Arrieta to the Mets. It seems like the Mets are extremely interested in Jake Arrieta. I'm not sure why. There's other options that I think is better. There's the three pitchers on the free agent market. Jake, Ar Jake Odorizzi, Taiwan Walker, and James Paxton that I think are all better than Jake Arrieta. Why the Mets are extremely interested in Jake Arrieta, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe when they went to their bu his bullpen, they like what they've seen. That's nice. You know, Jake Ode Ode I'm sorry, Jake Arrieta, is only 34 years old, but he is up there in age. But we also have Carrasco that's 34 years old. But Carrasco seems like he's still really good. Arietta, I, I don't know. Like he's he's maxing out at like 91, 92 miles an hour from what the reports I heard. I'm not really sure why the Mets are going down this route. They're they're 30 million dollars under the cap. So money seems like it's not an issue if it's gonna be on the one year deal. But how much is really Taiwan Walker, Jake Odorizzi, or James Paxton really going to cost the Mets? If that, if they look, if these guys, if the Mets are thinking that they're going to require more money, I don't see why that's that much of an issue. But Jake Arrieta, even if it's on the one year deal, this is the whole Porcello Walker situation, situation all over again. I just don't really see the point of going after Jake Arrieta. You know, if, if there was not many other options and it's a, it's a, a low risk, high reward situation with Jake Arrieta, but I don't even see it as that. Even if he was the last free agent on the market, pitcher on the market, I, I just don't see what the high reward is. He's not going to give you anything spectacular. You know, at least with Taiwan Walker, James Paxton, and Joe Gilderizzi, they can su surprise you and pitch really well. They've shown it. Jake Arrieta hasn't shown even good pitching since 2016 when he was an all-star. So I don't really understand why the Mets are really focusing in on Jake Arrieta unless they think that they can't pay the other three guys on the market. Maybe other teams are involved and their, their, their offers are higher than what the Mets are willing to give. But it just seems the Mets are just, I don't know, honestly, I'm confused with the Mets right now. Is it the Sandy Alderson syndrome or the plan B that I always like to talk about with Sandy Alderson? I think so. Uh, th this is Sandy and Alderson in a nutshell when it comes to free agency. We've seen it with Jake. We've seen it with George Springer. We've seen it with JT Rio Muto. And we didn't see it really with Bauer. But it seems like with Sandy Alderson, with pitching, he seems like if he doesn't get his guy, he automatically tries to do something out of the ordinary and get low risk, high reward individuals and pitchers that might not work out. And I don't think Sandy Alderson's that guy. I, I, I just don't think, sorry, I don't think Jerick, er, Jake Arrieta is this guy. It just, it just doesn't make sense. Why be really in on him when... If you really want a low-risk, high-reward situation, James Paxton is the guy. Jake Arrieta is far from the guy. And I want you to—I want you guys to take a look at Jake Arrieta's stats over the last four years. In 2017, he was 31 years old, 14 and 10, ERA 3.53. He pitched 168 innings, 23 home runs, 55 RBIs, 163 strikeouts. He, he pitched. That's one thing I can say about Jake Arrieta when we'll look at the last couple of years. He makes every start. So maybe the guys, maybe Sandy Olsen and the Mets just want the innings from Jake Arrieta, maybe quantity over quality that we hear a lot. In 2018, 32 years old, 10 and 11, 3.96 ERA, 172 innings, 21 home runs, 50, sorry, 21 home runs, 57 walks, 138 strikeouts. Still solid. 
But again, ERA is creeping up. And this is in the National League, by the way. 2019 with the Philadelphia Phillies still. 8-8, eight eight, 4.64 ERA. ERA even went up basically 7 points. 0.7 in his ERA. He pitched 135 innings, so he pitched less innings. Gave up 21 home runs, 51 walks. He's and 110 strikeouts. He's getting worse, progressively worse with age. And in 2020, again, I don't like to use 2020 as a as a benchmark, but we're still going to look at it. Four and four. He batted. He his ERA was 5.08 in nine starts, 44 innings, 32 strikeouts, six home runs, 16 walks. He progressively since 2017 got worse. His velocity went down. His ERA went up. His strikeouts went down considerably. F after the 2016 All-Star season and his 2015 Cy Young Award winning season, he has rapidly decri- declined every year. And I don't think Jake Arrieta is the smart move for the Mets, even if you want to put him as the fifth starter. Obviously, the fifth starter is the guy who, who you want innings from. And Jake Arrieta has done that over the course of his career. But in 2019... He went down to 135 innings. 2020, he pitched four, He pitched in eight, nine games, so it wasn't terrible, but he was declining in innings also. He, he ain't that workhorse that you've been looking for. And Jake Arrieta is, this doesn't seem like that guy. Well, I want to look back at the three pitches that are on the market still, other than Jake Arrieta. When, with Jake, with Jake Odorizzi, if you look at 2019, I want to focus on 2019, when it was the last 162-game season, Jake Arrieta was an all-star. He had a 351 ERA, 159 innings, 178 strikeouts, gave up 16 home runs and 53 walks. That is automatically better than Jake, than Jake Arietta. When we look at Taiwan Walker, 2019, he was in he he didn't pitch at all in 2019. So the next year that you can go that it, there was a full season was in 2017. 3.49 ERA, 157 innings. 146 strikeouts. Still better than Jake Arrieta's last full season. And even when you look at 2020 with Tywan Walker, he pitched better. When he got traded to Toronto, he pitched even excellent with a 1.37 ERA. I just don't understand what the Mets are trying to do with Jake Arrieta. There's other options. And again, we're going to go with James Paxton, the low-risk, high-reward individual that I think you can get the most out of out of all the guys left on the free agent market. In 2019, he had a 3.82 ERA. In 2018, he had a 3.76 ERA. 2020, he struggled, but he was injured. Now, you could say the injury can be an issue. Uh, Absolutely. But James Paxton is three years younger than Jake Arrieta. James Paxton is probably the the highest reward if you sign a pitcher like him, but I still would rather have Taiwan Walker out of the four. But at the end of the day, James Paxton and Taiwan Walker is is one of the pitches I would go after, not Jake Arrieta. Jake Arrieta hasn't been good since 2016, rapidly declining with age, and he hasn't pitched the same amount of innings that you would look for in a guy who's the fourth or fifth starter when you want to get quality starts and an innings eater in the back of your rotation. Now, the projected stats in 2020 for Jake Arrieta looks like this. At 35 years of age, 4.671 ERA, 113 strikeouts, 20 home runs, 52 RBIs, and 133 innings. What is that? That is a pitcher who is still declining. He's even having an ERA a little higher than his 2019. I don't see the win in this situation with Jake Arrieta and the Mets. It shouldn't be a match waiting to happen. They clear, they're clearly both interested in one another. But if I had to choose between Jake Arrieta and the three other pitchers on the free agent market, I'd rather them go to choose the other three in Jake Odorizzi, James Paxton, and Taiwan Walker. Jake Arrieta is not the guy to put in the back of your rotation for the New York Mets. That is my take on Jake Arrieta, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, please like this video. 
And if you enjoy all my content and all my video, smash on that subscribe button, guys. You get all the notifications you need when I post my videos and when I go live. Thanks again for watching, guys. And as always, let's go Mets.